All right, good evening. It's your girl, Latasha Wilson, a boss check. Let's analyze the web analyzer. When you pull it up, you go through your back office, you pull up the harmonic scanner. First thing you look at is what is it telling you to trade? You look right there in the rectangle. It tells you the first letters there, FH choice, that's the broker. After the colon, you have EURUSD. We're trading the euro versus US dollar. M15, that's a 15 minute chart, okay? This has not happened yet. This is perfect. Whenever you have the last candlestick at the D, from right at this D point on back, that's the end of a, of a pattern. Now, everything else to the right of the D is the future. So, because the D is low, we buy low. And of course, it's a buy because the entry is below the take points, take profit points. So, we want the market to go up. So we buy low, okay? If the D was up here, we would sell because the D would be up there and the take profits would be below the entry up there. But this is a buy because the D is low and entry is low and the take profits are above. So what we want next is we want to enter this trade when the next candlestick or the next few candlesticks start coming down Red means it's a sale. Blue means uh, the market is going up. So we want to see some more red candlesticks come down, hit our entry point, and then do what? Go into a buy and go up. And hopefully hit either take profit one, two, or three. So this right now, the market, this dotted line shows you where the market currently is. So the market right now is above our entry. This dotted line it moves up and down as the as this creating candlesticks. When the red line, if you're in a sale, you know we need to sell, but we need the market is above the current price that we want to enter. So we want the market to come down, hit our entry, and then turn back around and go up into the buy. So this is a buy limit. When you want the market to go in two directions, you need it to come down, that's one direction, and go up. That's a buy limit. Whenever the market needs to go in two different directions before it execute itself and uh, you set it up that way, then it's something limit, either a buy limit or a sell limit. But we know this is a buy because the D is low and the entry is low and the take profits are above. So this is a buy limit. We want to, the market to come down. We're limited right now. So we need it to go two directions. Market is above price. This is price. When we say price, entry is price. This is a buy limit because we want the market to come from up where it is down to our entry and then turn around and go back up two different directions. And that's how you do it. So this is your entry point. You pick one of the take profits and you set your stop loss here in case the market doesn't go up like we want it and it goes down. It'll stop you out with a smaller loss. A smaller loss. That's it, guys.